welcome back to my channel. So to start, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, and it is in the shade 1.5, I believe, which is one of the palest shades. But I'm just taking that and applying it with a dampened beauty blender and using some dabbing as also some swiping as I'm pulling off of my skin just to ensure that it's really blended and there are no patchiness. If your foundation or BB cream isn't really full coverage, you might want to go in with a few coats of it just to ensure that you get a flawless canvas because this is a video game character skin we are trying to recreate. To lock my foundation in place, I'm using my favorite Arbonne Mattified Powder with a big fluffy brush. I'm just applying this all over my face and down my neck as well. I don't want to contour my face out too much, but I'm going to still go in with a contour shade for my NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. It's the third shade in the bottom row, and I'm just lightly applying this to the hollows of my cheeks. Diva does have some rosy cheeks, so going into my Makeup Revolution blush palette, the third pink shade on the bottom, I'm using that as my blush today, and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it right on back to my hairline. For the eyebrows today, I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and I believe it's in the shade medium, but I'm just taking the angled brush that it comes with, and I'm filling up my brows quite dark, a lot darker than I normally would, and I'm also bringing the arch much further back. I'm trying to make my eyebrows look a bit more like the signature Korean straight brow that is very similar to what Diva has, so it might look a bit weird. I would definitely recommend either blocking out your brows if that is able to, but if you have really light brows, then you should be able to be fine. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm of course first going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I've still yet to get a full size one, but I'm hopefully going to soon. I'm just applying this all over my eyelid using my pinky finger because that is the one that is softest on the eye area. And then I'm going straight in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and taking White Chocolate, which is one of the top shades in that first row. And I'm just applying this all over with a flat brush just to set the primer. Then going in with my Urban Decay Ultimate Basics Palette, which I just got for Christmas. I'm taking that off orangey brown shade that you see in the bottom row and just applying this all over my lids and Steva does have a very tanned eyeshadow look going on. Going back into that same palette, taking the darker brown shade that is just two over from that one, I am applying this right into the outer part of my eyelid and then going in with a tan more taupe shade from the top row. I'm using that to blend out my crease. Diva does have a bit of a more pink toned crease, so I went back into my blush palette and took the darkest pink shade from that just to blend right in there to bring that pink in. Now for the eyeliner, I'm using my Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper and I absolutely love it. It is so easy to create wings with this, it's insane. But basically all I am doing here is creating this big semi-thick wing on the upper lash line that is more angled towards the side rather than up towards the tail end of my brow. And then I'm just adding a thin line to the very inner part of the upper lash line. And then what you're going to do after that is add these two little triangles to the bottom lash line to act as little lashes. If you guys want a full tutorial where you can actually see what's going on, definitely let me know. But basically once I'm done that to finish off the eyes, I'm curling my eyelashes, applying my favorite set of falsies that are pretty natural looking but I thought were perfect for this look, and then applying some mascara. This is just the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I'm just applying that to my upper lashes to blend them with the falsies. Now onto Diva's signature whiskers, and I'm drawing these out using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk just to perfectly draw out the triangles. So the first one is a bit more angled and flat, so that one I'm just doing entirely by hand using some reference photos to kind of get the shape, and then the one under that is much skinnier and points up more. And so I'm just filling those in using the same white pencil to act as the base for the pink shadow that I'm going to be applying later. The hardest part I'd say about this is making it even. You might want to go in with a concealer or something just to straighten up the lines or get them as even as possible. I was somewhat close to them being even on both sides so I just kind of left it as it was but if you're definitely using this as a cosplay I would highly recommend ensuring that the whiskers or triangles are even on both sides. <music> 
And to shade in the triangles pink, I went back into the Makeup Revolution blush palette again and using that dark pink in the palette, I'm just going in with a flat brush and applying this right on top, making sure to not swipe as much just to make sure I don't move the cream product that is under it, but I'm adding about two coats just to make sure I get the most vibrant pink possible. You could also use a liquid lipstick for this part, or even better, a body paint if you have it. This is just what I use, so this is what I'm showing you guys. And finally, to finish out the tutorial, I'm just going in with my Revlon Color Stay Matte Lip Balm, and it's just this pink shade. I'm just applying this to my lower lip, and putting my lips together, and then just lightly blending it out and going in with a red gloss after applying this to the very centers of my lips and then blending it out to get that perfect pinkish red gradient look that Diva has and that completes this tutorial. channel. Happy New Year! It has been a while since I last saw you guys, but it feels so good to be back. Today I filmed a, another video from a video game makeup series that I started last year. I have four installments in it so far. The playlist will be linked in the description box. This look that you see right here is inspired by Diva from Overwatch. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. It's super cute and hopefully it'll help any of you cosplayers out there. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any video requests you guys may have for me. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. I will talk to you all next time. Until then, peace out. Bye.